My name is Peter Bøhm. I'm a chief biomedical laboratory scientist at the Department of Clinical Genetics at Rigshospitalet in Copenhagen, Denmark. Actually, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a manager now, but, but technology is in my heart. So, so uh, I'm going to work to, uh, of course, inspire people to, to do what they're best at and to somehow help them do that. And that could be in a personal way or in a technology way. And you know, I have always been interested in science, in biology, and, and actually that's why I have been in the field for almost 25 years. So in, in our lab, we, uh, we focus on rare diseases, cancer genetics and metabolic diseases and hematology and of course do a lot of prenatal testing. And my colleagues are working on that both in routine and research. My role is to enable uh, the scientists in, in the lab to focus on their part and I will focus on getting the right equipment, getting the right instruments so they can really do exceptional research. You know, I have been working, as I said, for 25 years in the lab and I have used applied biosystem solutions equipment all, all the years. And they have just followed me through, through the journey of technology. And we have now in the lab uh, Six Studio Flex as, as the newest one. We have just uh, purchased the uh, Absolute Q uh, DPCR machine. We have S5 primes for next generation sequencing. You know, it's a very broad scale of instruments helping us doing our research and doing our uh, routine uh, samples. And it's, it's, it's just evolving this field and we try to keep up with that uh, in, in our lab. You know, it's, uh, the automation is very important. I started out with a 3730 sequencer and there was a stacker there. And that changed the whole setup in the lab because it could run during the night. And we all got really many samples run uh, on that point. And, and now we're shifting towards the NGS, but still needs the, uh, the sequencer and fragment analysis done on the sequencers. Another thing is that we use uh, qPCR for a lot of hematology uh, specific variants and that's very interesting as well and that has now evolved towards the, the digital PCR stuff that we will go into very shortly actually. I think collaboration between uh, the academic people and the, the uh, applied biosystem solutions people, we have to go uh, connect because the advances in technology are so complex. So if you if you stand aside uh, on either side, you won't get the full picture. So you have to go cl closer and to develop uh, specific pipelines or specific technologies that that will help our routine and, and research. So my message to to young scientists is: be curious. Stay on a path and don't let anyone stand in your way because it's very important that, that you address things and by doing that you get more knowledge and, and that's going to bring something uh, to the whole community. So that's very important. Be curious, stay on your path, don't let anyone get in your way.